What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today I'm going to be showing you guys and talking about the new variants of the AE4. So there are a bunch of new AE4 variants that were added to supply drops on Tuesday of course with the Havoc DLC that uh, launched on all Xbox platforms. They're available now in supply drops and we've known about these variants for quite a while now. People found them in the code until recently we didn't know what their stats were so their plus and minus stats and uh, we didn't know which were Elite, Professional and Enlisted. But of course now we do and they're all available but uh, I'm going to be showing you guys and talking about their stats uh, because now they're available in supply drops of course. I'll talk about this briefly in a video a few days ago which is about the patch and this patch also buffed the a4 as a weapon so it got reduced recoil and now can shoot for longer without needing to reload so it's actually a pretty decent weapon it's got a lot more um, reasons to kind of use it uh, but these are available and people have started to get them a bunch of you guys have been tweeting me screenshots of uh, you getting them the gameplay you're watching right now is of the standard a4 i definitely prefer the original one over the widow maker and any of the variants i've got so far and as uh, first we'll take a look at the venom this is one you get for free for getting 300 kills with the a4 uh, this isn't enlisted or professional or elite it's just one of those freebies you get for getting 300 kills with the weapon period uh, it's got plus two mobility and minus two for range so it's not very good uh, but to get into the weapons we've got three enlisted weapons to start off we've got the supernova which has plus one damage and minus one for handling honestly the supernova i would say is the best variant of them all if not one of the best uh, it's got an amazing trade-off simply because the handling means hit fire spread and assault rifles so that's definitely worth sacrificing for plus one damage uh, so it may be enlisted but i would say it's one of the best if not the best 84 variant you could get I'd definitely aim for this one and uh, then we've got the macro shock which is plus one range for minus one handling so the same thing as the supernova but range instead of damage and uh, again that's a quite a good variant another thing about this macro shock is that it does shoot yellow laser beams so instead of the standard red ones it'll actually shoot yellow laser beams which is pretty cool and uh, then we have the equinox which you don't actually have any stats for just yet hopefully soon uh, those are coming so we'll see if it's a good weapon or not and uh, then into the professional weapons we've got three we've got the vaporizer which is plus two for fire rate minus one for damage and minus one for accuracy it's a pretty average stats there it's important to note that when the a4 when it says uh, fire rate, it actually means overheat time so the a4 is very unique and uh, so when it says overheat time it's basically the same thing as uh, fire rate and vice versa they mean the exact same thing with the a4 uh, then we've got the vortex which has a built-in red dot side which always is a good thing that's definitely an attachment i would recommend a4 has horrible horrible iron sights and, and then it's got minus one for range which is the downside and then we've got the void which which is plus two for range and minus two for overheat time and uh, so that's kind of a good variant but you can shoot uh, a little bit more range but it's going to overheat a lot more quicker and, uh, and then into the elite versions there are three actually the only weapon in advanced warfare is to have three elite weapon variants and that's very strange so uh, every weapon normally has two variants but this weapon a4 has three the first one is the shocker it's got plus three for overheat time which means it's based on super extended mags and it's got minus one for accuracy and minus two for damage so not very good at all in my opinion you can shoot for long up it'll have worse recoil and do less damage we also have the gigawatt which has plus one for damage plus two for mobility which is the aim down sight time and it's got minus two for handling and minus one for range so a lot of differences there uh, i'd say it's quite an improvement over the shocker but it's not all that great in general and uh, then we have the tranquilizer which is plus two for damage and minus three for overheat time so it packs quite a punch but it's got a very small magazine and then finally we've got the widowmaker which is therefore free as a bonus if you already got the dlc we've seen that all before so so let me know in the comment section which is your favorite variant which one sounds the best to you and will you be trying to get i'm sure a lot of you guys have already got a lot of these weapons so let me know in the comment section if you have any of these what are they called and how do you like them uh, drop the video a like rating if you have enjoyed it i'd appreciate that make sure to subscribe for more advanced warfare videos and i'll see you guys later